Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be about gel electrophoresis and this is going to be my third video on this topic and uh, this is going to be my third video in which I use the same picture to solve uh, different uh, questions and problems so I highly recommend you also to watch my uh, two previous videos so today's problem is imagine the highly unlikely case that these 11 individuals were truly representative of the population what is the frequency of any one of the genotypes seen on the gel give your answer as percentage to three significant figures so i recommend you to pause video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation so let's um, see what we have here, we have 11 individuals here, uh, each letter stands for um, name of a certain individual and here in each column we see uh, genotype of each individual. Each individual has different uh, size alleles and here is a reference letter so we can use uh, this known size of uh, DNA fragments in order to tell uh, the size of unknown uh, alleles. Uh, we can say approximately the size of these alleles using this uh, letter as uh, reference. So it is, uh, as you see, very easy to find that uh, none of the genotypes are repeated. All the genotypes are unique and only appear here only once. So we can say that uh, frequency of each genotype would be 1 divided by 11 and the answer would be uh, 0 0.09 0, 9, 0, 9, 0, 9, and 1. So if our question would be uh, on the scale between 0 and 1, what uh, our answer would be? We are told that we have to give an answer uh, to three significant figures, so which uh, figures are here significant and which are not and we have significant figures uh, starting from this 9 and this 0 also would be significant figure and this 9 also would be significant figure so on the scale between 0 and 1 our answer would include uh, these figures but we are told that we have to give an answer on the percentage scale and percentage scale is between 0 and 100% so in order to convert numbers from this scale into this scale we have to multiply our answer by 100 and our answer would be 9.0 nine zero nine zero nine and one and this time three significant figures would be nine zero and nine so of course we have to put a percent sign here so our final answer would be nine point zero nine percent and this is going to be our answer today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.